While it might seem that Aurora has significant control with all of its filters, there are some advanced editing strategies that I'd also like to share. This tends to get into advanced choices like using layers and blending modes and masks, and some of the advanced options for correcting issues within the photo itself. I want to walk you through all of these, and let's start with lens correction. I've opened up an image that's already been merged, and if you compare this from the two states, you'll see that the HDR image did a nice job of handling some of the shadowy areas of the scene and preserving key details outside. Now, this image has not been adjusted very much yet, so I'll apply a basic preset to get it close to what I want. Let's open up the preset tab here, and from the basic category, I'm gonna choose Smart Enhancer, and that's helping quite a bit. I like in general where this is going, but there's a handful of changes to make here. For example, it's just a little bit dark in the background, so using the Image Radiance option here, I'm gonna lift the shadows up ever so slightly to fill those in and slightly increase the amount. Now, that's a nice change to the image, but there's parts of it that aren't working. And let's start to break that down. First up, the image itself is a bit distorted. If we look at this, it looks like it's curving a little bit on the edges. So I'm gonna click here on the option for lens correction. The first choice is the ability to adjust distortion. And you'll notice as you pull this in or out, it affects pin cushioning. What we're trying to do here is really balance this out so it's the right overall mix. And we'll come back to this as we start to work with other areas, but this is just helping me feel like there's a straight line. It's just a slight distortion correction here for the wide angle lens. Additionally, I can punch in to a 100% magnification and look at some of the high contrast areas. What I'm looking for is in here, a little bit of color fringe, and I'm seeing it in that very backlit area. So as I start to pull this up, we can remove some of that fringe as well as the chromatic aberration. And what we're looking for there is what's happening on these edges. It's a small adjustment, but important. Then you can pull back out to fit the image and look at the vignette. This D-vignette option is designed to brighten the edges if they are artificially darker. Now this works best when you can see the entire image and you don't wanna overdo it, but notice how it fills in the shadows at the edge. Without this, it's actually not quite right. A little lift there at the edges is helping just fill in some of the natural vignette caused by the lens itself. Now I like that and that's working quite well. Now that we've got the lens corrected, we can move on to fixing some of the perspective issues caused by the camera's position. 